okay today we are going to solve some questions from microstates so already i have uploaded one video about microstates right microstates from electronic configuration how to calculate the number of arrangements or microstates if they have given electronic configuration so if you haven't watched that video then kindly watch that video then only you can understand this concept right so if they have given electronic configuration what will you do to calculate microstate this is the formula n factorial r factorial n minus r factorial suppose if they are giving you some term symbol for example like this then what's the formula is very simple 2j plus 1 okay from electronic configuration this is the formula suppose we are having p2 right p2 is an electronic configuration how will you calculate the microstates n is nothing but the maximum number of electrons that p orbital can accommodate right p orbital can accommodate 6 electrons hence it will be 6 factorial divided by r factorial r means nothing but the number of electrons it is 2 factorial so 6 minus 2 it will be 4 factorial here right hence 6 factor 6 into 5 into 4 factorial and this is 2 and this is 4 so you will be getting 15 right 15 this is how you have to calculate the microstates if they uh, give you electronic configuration right this is very simple already we have uploaded uh, we have studied this right now if they have given you term symbol okay term symbol term symbol also we have studied right how to write the term symbol for the electronic configuration and all so if the, you if they give you some electronic configuration what should you do just 2j plus 1 it is very simple in case of term symbols what is j here it is j right this is spin multiplicity this 3 is spin multiplicity and the p is nothing but uh, l right capital l and j is here the 2 is j right so the formula is 2j plus 1 so this is the j 2 into 2 plus 1 okay 2 into 2 plus 1 i think this is not clear now it will be clear right 3p2 okay 3p2 hence it is 2 into 2 plus 1 this will be 5 right this is how you have to find out the microstates right microstates or they will give you degeneracy okay microstates degeneracy orientations arrangements all are same okay nothing but the arrangements of electrons okay possible way of filling the electrons see now in case of term symbol this is how you have to calculate very simple formula 2j plus 1 okay suppose if they provide you terms okay terms what is the term what is the difference between term and term symbol it is very simple if you have j okay if you have j then it is known as term symbol but if you don't have j it is known as term right see for example if you are having 3p and here it is 3p2 right this is spin multiplicity this is capital l that angular momentum orbital angular momentum and this is the j right this is j here it doesn't have j value if it doesn't have j value it is known as term if it has uh, j value then it is known as term symbol okay term symbol this is the difference between the term and term symbol say now in this case if they give you term what you have to do is 2 into s plus 1 plus 2l plus sorry into 2l plus 1 2s plus 1 into 2l plus 1 is the formula to find out the microstates if they give you some term okay this is the term because they don't have j value if it if you have j value it is term symbol right here in this case spin multiplicity actually spin multiplicity is nothing but 2s plus 1 right hence in this case this is 2s plus 1 value 3 right 2s plus 1 value is 3 and uh, 2 into what will be the l value for the spectroscopic term p you have already done this right s means 0 p 1 d 2 right f 3 this and all you know so now for p it is uh, l value will be 1 right so 1 plus 1 this will be 3 right 2 into 1 2 plus 1 it is 3 so 2s plus 1 value is also 3 and 2l plus 1 value is also 3 so you will be getting 9 okay 9 this is how you have to calculate the microstates if you have term okay for term symbol it is 2j plus 1 for term it is 2s plus 1 into 2l plus 1 right now suppose they are giving you mulliken symbol right mulliken symbol 
uh, this i will explain you in detail when we will study group theory okay so now so far you have to know that whenever you have mulligan symbol what is mulligan symbol see for the spectroscopic term a you can write it as a1g and t1g t2g these and all okay these are all the mulligan symbols so you if they give you mulligan symbol then how can you calculate the microstatus very simple multiplicity into dimension okay multiplicity into dimension one thing you must know is if they give you a term then it will be one dimension if it is e then it is two dimension if it is t then it will be three dimension okay so i will give you an example you will be clear with the concept so if you are having a1 g okay power uh, maybe one right one in this case see you have to multiply the multiplicity and dimension in order to get microstates so what is the multiplicity here it is 1 right it is 1 so multiplicity is 1 into a they have given the term a a is one dimension right so 1 into 1 it will be 1 very simple right if suppose you are having t2g3 okay t2g3 so how will you do it t is nothing but three dimension right t is three dimension so multiplicity is three right multiplicity is three and the dimension is also three because a means one dimension e two dimension t three dimension right three dimension now in order to get the microstate you have to multiply the multiplicity and dimension so the multiplicity is 3 and dimension is also 3 right it is also 3 so you will be getting 9 hence the microstate is 9 okay this is how you have to find out now let us find out the microstates for these examples okay it will be really easy see this is mulliken symbol right these are all mulliken symbol so in order to find out the microstates for mulliken symbol what you have to do you have to multiply the dimension into uh, into multiplicity right you have to multiply the multiplicity and dimension hence here what is the multiplicity it is 2 what's the dimension e means it is 2 so microstate will be 4 okay it is 4 now in this case multiplicity is 3 t means dimension is also 3 right so 3 into 3 it will be 9 hence 9 microstates see now in this case 6 multiplicity is 6 right then a means dimension will be 1 so 6 is the microstate okay this is how you have to find out the microstates for mulliken symbol okay mulliken symbol now these are all without j term right these have these examples have j values but uh, here you don't have j values which means these are all terms and these are all term symbols right this term this is term symbols so if you have term what you have to do 2s plus 1 into 2l plus 1 is the formula to find out the microstates now 2s plus 1 value is 4 right 2 into what's the l value here 3 right so 4 into 7 it will be 28 okay 28 here what will be the value Multi multiplicity is 3 right 2s plus 1 value is 3 into l value will be 1 here okay 1 here so 2 into 1 it will be 3 hence 9 9 microstates right so for d2 what will you do 2s plus 1 value is 2 then l value is also 2 so 2 into 5 you will be getting 10 right 10 hence 10 microstates are possible now for term symbol what is the formula it is 2j plus 1 right 2 into j plus 1 so the j value here is uh, 2 hence 2 into 2 plus 1 it will be 5 okay 5 in this case 2 into j value is half plus 1 so it is 2 micro status 2 here also 3 f2 the value is 2 then here also 2 right so answer is 5 here also the answer will be 5 right 
this is electronic configuration if they give you electronic configuration then what's the formula n factorial divided by r factorial n minus r factorial this is the formula so if you substitute for p1 n factorial means 6 factorial because the maximum electron that can be accommodated in p orbital is 6 in this case r is 1 right 1 6 minus 1 so 6 factorial divided by 5 factorial so we will be getting 6 into 5 factorial so answer will be 6 okay answer is 6 number of microstates so possible for p1 electron is 6 then for p1 d1 how will you calculate for p1 it is 6 right 6 into for d1 it will be 10 so total you will have 60 microstates because for d1 how will you calculate 10 electrons divided by 1 into 9 factorial right so 10 factorial into 10 into 9 factorial divided by 9 factorial hence you will be getting 10 as the answer okay 10 is the answer now for p4 right p4 6 factorial 4 factorial 6 minus 4 factorial will be 2 factorial right so 6 factorial 4 factorial 2 factorial then you have to solve this 6 into 5 into 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial 4 factorial. this 4 this 4 will be get can getting cancelled and uh, 3 right so the answer is 15 the answer is 15 this is how you have to solve the questions whenever you have questions from microstates it is very easiest to one so don't uh, leave that question okay so if they give you what you have to know see if they give you electronic configuration then this is the formula n factorial r factorial n minus r factorial if they give you term symbol then 2j plus 1 is the uh, formula to calculate microstate if they give you term then 2s plus 1 into 2l plus 1 and for mulliken symbol it is multiplicity into dimension okay multiplicity into dimension so this is very simple now let us solve the previous year questions okay okay these are all the previous year questions see the first question the number of microstates present in f3 term okay 3f so how will you calculate the microstates in this case it is simple i think you can do this okay you can do this because it is very simple they have given you the term so the formula to calculate uh, microstates if they give you term is 2s plus 1 2l plus 1 right this is the formula i have given you the formula also you just substitute in it and tell me the answer in the comment section okay so now the total degeneracy of the ground term of cobalt 2 in octahedral geometry so they have asked you to calculate the degeneracy of the ground term okay term of cobalt 2 first of all you have to find out the term right how will you find out the term already you know these concepts right i have uploaded the video for term symbols also if any one of you haven't watched that then kindly go and watch that video i will give you the link here okay so cobalt 2 plus which means cobalt will be in d7 4s2 configuration now in the question it is given as cobalt 2 plus which means two electrons removed right so it is only d7 now then how will you it is high spin and it has also mentioned that it is a high spin so the electron will be like this right now you have to find out the term see in this case it will be f term right because plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 right here two electrons are present here two electrons are present so it is 4 plus 2 plus 0 minus 1 minus 2 so you will be getting 6 minus 3 as 3 right 3 means what will be the term it is f because 0 s term 1 p term 2 d term 3 f term right here you will be getting 3 hence it is f term okay f now you have to find out the spin multiplicity now how many unpaired electrons are here three unpaired electrons each electron will have a value of half right half so three electrons means it is three by two so s value is three by two 2s plus one is the multiplicity right 2s plus one is the multiplicity hence you will be getting four okay four as a spin multiplicity now you got the term okay you got the term 
Now for this term you have to find out the total degeneracy. What is the formula for this? 2s plus 1 into 2l plus 1, right? 2s plus 1 value is 4 into l value. The l value is 3 for this. 2 into 3 it is 6 plus 1, 7. Right? 28. Hence 28 is the right option. Right? 28. Okay? You have to read the question properly. See, they are giving a cobalt 2. So, you can write it as D7. This is electronic configuration. But they are asked to find out the total degeneracy of the ground term. Right? Term. So, you have to convert that into term. And after that, you have to find out the microstates or degeneracy for that. Right? So, this is how you have to solve this question. And the third question already we have solved in that video itself. Right? The number of microstates for D5 electronic configuration. So, what you have to do? 10 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 5 factorial. So, you will be getting 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 into 5 factorial. Another 5 factorial will be cancelled. Another 5 factorial can be right like this. Right? It can be written like this. Right? Now, you should cancel out these things. So, it is uh, 36 into 7. Hence, this is the right option. Okay. What I have done is very simple. You have to substitute in R, N factorial divided by R factorial N minus R factorial. Hence, you will get the answer 10 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 5 factorial. So, in order to get them cancelled out, I have converted into 5 factorial, right? 5 factorial. So, you can cancel out each other and the answer will be 36 into 7. You can write this as 6 square into 7. Hence, the option C is the right one, okay? It is the right answer. This is how you have to find out the microstates, okay? I think this is the easiest topic in coordination chemistry. So, I hope this video will be helpful for you. Uh, I think uh, we have done uh, many examples. And this question is for you. You have to find out the number of microstates and uh, share your answers in the comment section. Okay. So, if, this, if you find this video helpful, then kindly like this video and share this with your friends. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.